between Nick Diaz and Steven Thompson. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Both fighters are 34. Diaz will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing Bruce, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Fighting out of stuff. Ready? Ready? First round underway. Kick to the body. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Thompson? Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Diaz. Big punches. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Oh, nice jab by Thompson. Left kick to the body. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. He's starting to land those kicks to the body. Yeah, you're all over it, Joe. Those kicks to the body really starting to do some appreciable damage. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Tags him with a flush left. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Oh, nice punch there by Wonderboy Thompson. Changes his stance. The southpaw fighter facing the orthodox fighter always has the advantage of the back leg kick to the body. It opens up that liver kick because the left kick lands on the right side of the opponent's body, which is a very vulnerable area. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Diaz. Big left hook. He's got him here. Oh, very nice. And now starting to snap off that jab. Good Massive left, left, hand, left by hand by Nick. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Huge shots there. Oh, now he's got the tie clinch, Joe. Diaz gets the over under. Nice kick to the midsection. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Big punch from the bottom. Nice combination from the half guard here. And he controls Nick in side control now. as he looks to improve position here. Oh, he connected with an elbow. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Diaz gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. He has a nice left. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. Shot is blocked. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Right. Round two is next. Excellent. That was beautiful, man. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Nick Diaz has perhaps the best cardio in the UFC today. A regular triathlon competitor. Oh! oh! This could be it right here. He's in big, big trouble. Body kick, look at that. Big knee. Nice combination by Thompson. Big straight punch. 
powerful jab. Oh, very nice. Diaz is all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. One, two. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Thompson gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Again, he's, he's, he, he clinches here. We see a takedown attempt there from Thompson. Diaz gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet, despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. How about that shin? Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combination. Oh! Whoa! This could be it! Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Tom. Wow! He got hurt bad. 